January 18, I met a virtuous woman. A good woman is hard to find and worth far more than diamonds. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10. I began ministry as a young pastor's wife in Greenwood, Mississippi. This was a culture shock for me, having never lived in the South. I was Northern born and bred. But here, the obvious differences made based upon ethnicity were more than I could fathom. I was privileged to meet a woman who taught me so many things about how to become the change you want to see in the world. Her name, Fana Lou Hamer. She lived in Ruleville, Mississippi and was a part of the change in her world. Fana Lou was a child of rural Mississippi. Her parents were sharecroppers. She was the only family member who was able to read and write. Mrs. Hamer bore the marks of the struggle on her body. She had been beaten and maimed for seeking to vote. I was reminded of Jacob, who became Israel. He walked with the limp as a result of his name change. Mrs. Hamer was involuntarily sterilized, so she and her husband adopted two daughters. I met Mrs. Hamer when Mississippi was on the cusp of change. My husband and I were a part of the Greenwood Movement and a mutual friend took us to Ruleville to meet Mrs. Hamer. She invited us into her home and made us feel as if we were family. She spoke about her home state and where she envisioned it going. She was upbeat and encouraging. Never once did she complain about the physical and emotional sacrifices she personally had made. She just encouraged me to keep doing what I could to make a difference. She embodied Proverbs chapter 31 verse 26 as her words were always worthwhile. And she always spoke kindly. I thought of Mrs. Hamer's words were profound but when she broke into song, I was mesmerized. Mrs. Hamer said that Negro spirituals were a powerful force in her life. When things got heavy, she could always find encouragement in their words. Through each night, I sing his song, praying to God who gives me life. Psalms chapter 42 verse 8 I did not realize back then that the Lord had shown me a living example of a woman more valuable than diamonds. Still, when times get dark, I remember the Lord offers a song in my night. I hear the melody and I sing on. Praise God for the impact of Mrs. Fanny Lou Hamer. <music> <music>